Good morning! And guess what? I hit 10,000 subscribers. So by hitting 10,000 subscribers, uh, Tong, Tong told me I'm supposed to do a giveaway. Yeah, give away. <laughs> I also don't know what to give away. Eh? Anyway, let me think about it and I'll post a 10,000 subscriber giveaway in, YouTube, in my Instagram. Lah. But anyway, I'm supposed to do a giveaway now from the December giveaway, which is the two tubes which uh, was sponsored by Psychology KK. So I will get back to you on that. And right now we are at Rimbayu going to uh, Morib. It's a cool morning today. I think it's gonna rain. Hope not. We have six of us today. Let's see. Four, eight, eight of us today. We have Marcus, Kai, Tong, me, Darren, Nicole. Uh, there are two friends, Jackie and somebody else. Can't remember. So let's see. Hey, the plan is only to do 70 km because it's been such a long time since some of us did a ride. Like Tong, Tong after RHB ride, he had an accident, so he was not riding for three months. Uh, me alone, December, I hardly did any ride because it's holiday month. Uh, and Kai also probably th uh, three months. She also had an accident and she also has not been riding for three months. Darren also three months never ride, so a, a, a month uh, never ride. So newbie ride, newbie ride. But the discharge will naturally body or expel one. Hey Marcus, you don't change bike, never mind. I think you should change your bike. Show me your bike. No, no. See, I know. This is called well used. Ethos, tapi bike, bike. The bike is broke. I uploaded the video on the giant TCR, which is weighing at 4.5 kilo below. And the amount of money he spent is about over 60,000 ringgit on his bike. Then some people commented, wow, so expensive. Wow, I have a uh, you know, better place where I can spend the money. So I think today the topic I want to talk about is Is cycling expensive? Is cycling... Marcus, I think, is cycling expensive? Extremely. It's so dry. <laughs> <laughs> Kai, behind him, was shouting. She said a lot of lorry, a lot of cars. She's freaking out. Because, um... There are two hands. Because she had a an accident, <laughs> uh, she had um, I think motorbike uh, crash into her. So that's why she's a bit worried now because there's so many traffic. Hopefully this will help her overcome her fear uh. Hopefully, oh, today weather damn cold. Eh? And looking at it, it's quite cloudy as well. I think it's it's gonna rain. Don't know when. Hopefully not anytime soon. But right now, it's 25 degrees Celsius at about 7.30 in the morning. Being 7.30 in the morning, I suspect since we're only doing 70 km, by 35 km, we will reach Morib, which will have our breakfast stop, and then 40 km back. Honestly, it's good to be on the road again. It's like almost one month, I hardly any, did any real cycling because last weekend, two weekends ago, all I did was the KL ride. So, really hardly did any real cycling. Today, 75km, I would say it's some um, real cycling. Anything touching 80km to 100km is a decent mileage. Huh? Hope I survive. And honestly speaking, hope I can get back to my 100km routine. I have to train back. But interestingly, I had a nice conversation with Tong just now, saying that it's been a while since he did any cycling. And when he stopped cycling, he felt that he just can do so much to the family. Go, go, go! Let's say what you like. Still a good day out. Overcoming your fear. Oh, let's drink water, Anna. Hey, senang ya. If I had a bottle and my handlebar, I won't have kidney stone. <laughs> ah, 
me personally cycling <laughs> what? You're overcoming oh, your fear. Sorry. And sorry. But she's overcoming her fear. <laughs> Madness. Uh, you guys are cycling. Is that an expensive spot? Honestly, it's only expensive if you make it expensive. Honestly speaking, you always have the option not to make it expensive. I've seen people cycling on decks, uh, 200 km, 300 km, 400 km for years. And they only invested probably five, six thousand ringgit on their bike. So cycling is not expensive. Actually, a uh, long time never cycle uh, really brings a smile to my face. Right? As much as I wasn't looking forward to waking up, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning to come here to cycle but now that I'm on the bike big smile, big smile imagining, imagine you're just pedaling cruising with friends on open road thank god it's cool air you know enjoying the open road and the wind in your face while getting a good exercise hey why not man, why not so now camp 11 few more another 20 more camp to reach to our breakfast stop. 20 km is about 45 minutes, not too bad. Actually, you're asking me, I'm cruising now about 170 watts. Huh? It's so much more comfortable than going 200 watts. Going at about 30 km per hour. I like this pace. <laughs> I like Sun Thai pace. Pop. Look at it. Is it hazy? How's it gonna rain? Oof. Okay, we are about to hold. So hold there. We're gonna hit this steep climb. Gonna zoom up, I guess. But my knee still hurts. Then I sprained my knee from badminton four weeks ago and had this numbing pain. It's like really numbing pain. So then when I did the KL ride with so many climbs, I think it just aggravated the knee. I'm gonna go slowly up here. Just like here. I think my knee still needs to rest. Ow, ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, now we are going to some nice Kampung Road. Have you used this route before? Ah, uh, bring you sea world. <laughs> yeah. This is damn nice. Darren. Have you tried this route before? No. Ah, you'll love this route. Now it's Chuti Chuti Malaysia. Nice ride, this route. Honestly speaking, this is what you call cycling. Tune up, Nicole. Nice ride. Look at the view, eh? No car, no traffic, no nothing. Shot. Now, can you hear? Don't worry, all the cars stop one. I think they want to hear me, Huh? <laughs> Look at this route eh? This is what I'm talking about This is what I'm talking about Like saying right, they say Cycling is expensive You can't really put a price tag on cycling If it's your passion or your hobby You know what I mean? Like some people put money in their car Some people put money in their handbags and shoes or whatever lah or you want to buy phones, gadgets, PlayStation 5, or whatever you call it. All this have a different meaning of value to every individual. But to a cyclist investing in their bicycle, it's even cyclists there are two types, one that really invests and one that doesn't, right? But I'm saying that the cyclists who invest in their bicycle, honestly speaking, nothing wrong with that, right? 
because it brings them joy. It brings them a feeling of a feel-good feeling. It hits their endorphin. It makes them feel that when they work on the weekday, they can enjoy the weekend with their bike. So for me, that is why cyclists would invest a lot on their bike because it's just their hobby, their passion, a reason to wake up to sometimes and sometimes even give them, give them their aha moment, you know, spikes their creativity because this is where they actually reset their mind from work. And what's the bonus of having a bicycle or going cycling is to explore all these routes. You see, for example, this kind of route. Isn't bike? Isn't this route beautiful? I mean, look at it. Open road, kampong road, scenic road, clean air. Pure tranquility, pure tranquility. My Audax wheels on. A bit of gravel as well. Nice. Good thing I'm using tubeless. Oh, that's all that's gravel. Try something new, right? My, my my father teach me one, and my mother always call my father. Okay, let's go there. No, 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 that, not that, not that. Huh? <laughs> I also don't know. I just follow Google Map only. You bought the wrong bike. I need a bike. Yeah. bike. <laughs> Wow, Kampong Road non-stop man, I think this is at least, let me think, at least about 8km, 8 to 10km of just tranquility. Gotta love this. Aero position at 25km per hour. Huh? <laughs> Aero position at 25 km. So long. Oh. <laughs> Aero later become Superman. That's why Kaji said she brought her mountain bike. <laughs> yeah, I thought the usual but thing more Nothing. I didn't expect this one. Nothing usual with when Melvin oh. plots around. Oh. Hey Darren, this kind of route only can feel like a reset, right? Yeah. Uh, this why he call it a reset. <laughs> Anjing. Uh, this is Jugra Mountain. Uh, are you going up? Huh? Uh, Jugra, they close the road. What a beautiful place. Now we're gonna take a rest. Uh, if you all don't know, we are cycling together with Psychoholic. Uh, you can follow their Instagram. Okay, so we just took some scenic photos of the Jugra Mountain. La. I uh, love this route. Honestly speaking, if you ask me, personally, oh, got cow, lambu. Personally speaking, if you ask me, whenever I long time never ride or want to reset, uh, this is actually my favorite route. So now we are heading towards Morib. KM 27 only. Super Santai today. I think our average speed is probably 25, 27 only. Really slow today. One thing about cycling I also noticed uh, is we actually spend uh, between half an hour to sometimes one, one hour straight uh, of just pedaling in one single file 
and not chick chatting and just keep on pedaling. And usually we go between 30 km per hour, sometimes 35, sometimes 40. You know, and it goes for an hour without chit chatting. It's quite impressive. Like, how cycling we can just shut our mind for an hour of just pedaling, concentrating on the road, and just enjoying the ride. What a unique and amazing sport this is. Usually, now towards Morib. We'll be hitting 40 km per hour. Let's see when Marcus will be triggered to do that. Getting faster. Now 32. Just now 29. I can feel that I'm putting in more energy. Wow, oh, the road's so bad, way. Eh? How to go fast? Hitting 37 km per hour. Now hitting 40 km per hour. Oof. Throughout my ride, uh, my heart rate was like 120. Now it's going up to 147. <laughs> Feels like we dropped everyone already. Going at 40 km per hour, the tongue pulling. Now my turn. Going at about 300 watts. Going at about 39 to 40. Three hundred twenty watts. Now rotate. Using 200 watts. Oh, a lot of debris on the road. It's quite difficult to cycle. So, so after three months, how's it back on the road? Feels very good, but very lousy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lousy. Train back. Lousy. You do a lot of training. Lousy lah like you. <laughs> lousy lah like you. Okay. Let's hit to some more hidden roads. Ah. Oh, that's nice. Taurus. I did, I did, I did. I signed up for like adventurous trip today without going. <laughs> I thought it's highway all the way, but I've been to the forest now. Now see, now see. I bring I bring Yeah, you work for tourism, is it? No I bring so that I can slow Marcus down <laughs> This is nice Look at that, this is so nice This is my favorite part of the route. Pure tranquility. Pure tranquility. So what if I spend 60,000 ringgit on a bike? What if I spend 10,000 or 5,000 ringgit on a bike? The point is, the bike will bring me here, places like this, for me to enjoy. That's what counts. And the jungly road continues. Now we're heading to Morit for some nice nasi lemak. 
Oh, the beach so nice. Low tide now. Ah, this is the best view. This is the best view here. <laughs> ayo, ayo. <laughs> ah, I won't even clip in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tree, the tree grew shorter, I thought. Last time, not so bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was fun. Okay, now we are at Morit Beach, finally. This is actually a public beach. Uh. Come here and chill. It's a very nice beach, very soft sand and everything. But a lot of people. A lot of sand fly too. Uh, I don't know how many times come here already, but it's a chill ride. Uh. Whenever we come more beach, I uh, confirm it's a chill ride. The inside. So now I have so, to, so this is how you I have feel to the find water. my my cover. Then, then later continue drinking. Cannot lo <laughs> buy new one. <laughs> Ew. I can't find. Uh, you 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 add it in the I have to take out already. Because it's too deep. You're adding, you're adding salt into the water. Can I take out? Take out and... It's not like pump petrol you. motorbike. Uh. Uh. Start the roadside and pump petrol. Mm. Pump petrol, you don't call that. Yeah, yeah hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gone already. I was just thinking what a good idea this was. Now look at what Kai is doing. Uh, terrible idea. <laughs> terrible idea. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Nasi lemak review. How? Best. Best. Number Explain one. the flavor in three words. Three words. Very tasty <laughs> and yummy. Oh, that's, that's four words. Fail. 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 Marcus, like 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 wine tasting. Uh, how would you explain the nasi lemak? Like wine tasting. Like wine tasting. Yeah. How, how would you explain the nasi? Lemak? Or like drink coffee. Well, wine, you have to age it, then it tastes better. This time you age it. You eat. Nice, you, you, eat you, you eat six <laughs> hours later. <laughs> Hey, so I want to ask Darren. Okay. And if you all didn't know, Darren is actually an influencer, you know, with over 30,000 followers uh, in Instagram, you know. So 30,000 followers in Instagram means a macro influencer. So I want to ask, ask a macro influencer, hey Darren, people say cycling is expensive. Uh, what are your thoughts? Is it justifiable? I think it's not, it's not, it's not expensive though. Why? It's because it's a hobby. Hobby is, uh, there's, it's priceless. <laughs> so deep, Warren Buffett can write a book on this. <laughs> Marcus, they say cycling very expensive. Uh, is it justifiable? Yes, if you cycle every day. <laughs> you cycle every day, right? No. <laughs> you need to ask a girl's perspective, ah, huh? Nicole. <laughs> so, same question. Cycling is expensive. What do you think? I think it's okay. It's just another drive for me to earn more money, work harder to ch chase my hobby. Uh, true. What makes me happy? Can't she buy happiness. Can't buy happiness. Yeah. Unless you are. No, actually, the, the saying say, uh, money can't buy happiness is wrong. You know, money can buy options. You have no money, no option. No? <laughs> okay, bike check. My Vilia Lante. It's a Kenyan. Aerod. Aerod. Factor. This is uh, Darren's bike, Nicole's bike. Kai, they say cycling is expensive. Is it justifiable? If you stick to one bike for 10 years, then it's not expensive. Uh. How old is your you bike? Every year change bike, of course. How old is your bike? My bike is 6 years old. Oh, then Tai. I'm very loyal to R my horse. <laughs> I'm R I already. I'm R I already. I know it's a bit biased, uh, right? I ask this question to only cyclists. But only a cyclist will understand. Uh. So in a cyclist point of view, right? Cycling, because the hobby is a passion, we use our bike almost once or twice a week without fail. Uh. Then no matter what investment you put in, uh, as long as we didn't means that we didn't what we can afford, it's worth it. Uh. So that's my point. Uh. Going at about 33 km per hour, steady pace. No terrible headwind at least. Most of the wind blocked by Marcus anyway. There's a nice cooling, 28 degrees Celsius. Today's weather is very nice for a long ride. It's 10 in the morning now. We have another 40 km to cover. So, should be back by 11.30 I guess. Seems like fair. 
tell you this last uh, 40 km it's gonna be a lot of straight road just pure pedaling it's gonna be quite a mind-numbing thing coming here was fun twisty roads kampong road going back mind-numbing straight road Kayi, you can do it Kayi. Trust your line, trust your line. What the? Oh, it's a wedding car. It's a wedding car, got music somewhere. Ha! So creative. The climb. This is one hell of a climb. Oh. Oh, this isn't close to 700 watts, 650 watts. Uh, whew, heart rate 162, uh, 170. Uh. Right now I'm slowing down to wait for the behind. I think someone got dropped. So I'm gonna cruise back, stay back, and because I'm day I have the map. So whenever we go cycling, if you have the map, you're responsible for everyone. <laughs> but the last group already lah. So I can tarik at about 22 km per hour. Everything okay? Okay, huh? Awesome. Somebody puncture. It happens. We are 20 km away. Ah, the weather is nice. Cruising at 26 km per hour. I think in our day, cycling in group, uh, what's more important is that the group stick together rather than your average speed or your PR. Because as a cyclist, when we all stick together as a group to ride, uh, then everyone gets so encouraged to ride more and everyone cycles together. Like Marcus D, why nobody ride with him because he's always alone. He always drop everyone. No friend. Santai. Your Santai is my Bantai. Whoa, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. And we did it. KM70. 1.7. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, uh, uh. We did it! We did it! Yay! <laughs> As if we did like 200 km. <laughs> and we are here 72.8 km. That's all for today's short ride. Uh, and to sum it up, cycling is not expensive if you use your items and your equipment. And it is your inspiration, your creative output. It's worth it. Lah. Signing off, God bless all of you, and see you next week. Are you serious? That's a good idea. Oh my goodness, that's genius. <laughs> That's genius! Spray, 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 spray again! Huh? Oh. Oh, it's pure yeah. genius! Yeah, it's pure genius! <laughs> okay, hey, now, now, we, now we have to go home and buy the, the, the palm one. <laughs> what a good idea!